Hi everyone, this is Ivo. This topic I will talk about Delta Barcode Scanner DFS150 linked with a Delta AS POC. Uh, you can see the system architecture. Uh, we uh, will use a barcode scanner as a mobile step. That means a POC will pull the data. For physical wiring, we link the IS485 uh, D uh, to the first pin as zero pole one. Uh, first pin is a D plus, and the second pin is D minus, so we link to the yellow color of barcode scanner. In this example, we will uh, keep a barcode scanner uh, protocol. So here we will modify the ASPOC uh, protocol and the ID. So here you can see we change the node ID from 1 to 10. And for uh, this setting will be the default setting of a uh, barcode scanner DFS uh, 150. So you can see the port rate is a uh, 115200 and the uh, data bit 8, uh, parity bit uh, none and star bit 1. And mobile small we use the ASCII. Come to next part will be the data exchange setting. So here uh, we use the uh, slave address means a uh, DFS barcode scanner ID, so it's one. And for the remote uh, device type, we select a standard mobile device. Uh, here we will use the 8503. And you might wonder what is uh, this uh, data address, so we can refer to our uh, user manual. So you can see this will be the barcode content, 8503. And the maximum is uh, 255 words. Okay, next step, uh, we will trigger uh, to uh, trigger the barcode to get the content, and then we can check from POC uh, without extra uh, programming. Okay, so we open the ISP shop and create a new project and select the correct uh, POC model. Okay, then we can select the uh, communication setting. After that, uh, we can uh, do hardware configuration. So here we can click the uh, serial port 1, COM1 setting, and we can change the node ID to 10, and select the, select the correct port rate. Here we select none, and uh, keep the uh, ASCII mode. After modify uh, the protocol, then we can go to a uh, data exchange. And because based on the serial port one, come one. So here we can add on the data exchange table. So we change uh, select the mode to OS enable, then double click, and here we use one, and select a standard mobile device. And remember uh, to tick the enable function. After that, uh, we change here to uh, register hex and type uh, F503. And how many uh, words just depends on the barcode you want to scan. So for example, this one we uh, use 20. It's actually just four, but here maybe we just use our 20 as example. And then uh, remember here we also change this one to register hex, but we change the quantity to zero. After that, we can click. Okay, after setting the uh, data exchange and the uh, uh, general setting, then we can click uh, download. So this setting will write to a uh, POC, and then we can back to the ISP shop. Uh, here we create a uh, one uh, empty POU, and then we can add on the device monitor table. Uh, because we uh, start from D0, I mean for the data exchange table, so here we use a uh, 20. And remember, uh, here we have to select this one, uh, the display mode to ASCII. Okay, then now we can uh, open the barcode scanner software. 
So we keep the default setting and then a link. And then we can click open. Okay, so all we uh, remain the default setting. After that, uh, we click the test and wait it uh, go to 100%. We can uh, trigger, click trigger. Okay, then here we can capture the image. Uh, then we can go uh, back to ISP shop and switch online. So you will see here we already get the uh, data. This will uh, consist uh, with uh, what we capture here. So you can see uh, the data will be uh, 3542 or 406. Uh, if you try to read the more uh, barcode content, then you just uh, increase the data exchange uh, quantity. Then uh, you can monitor this data and get this data uh, just uh, with a trigger. And for sure, uh, if you want to use the I.O. control, then you can use a physical wiring uh, instead of uh, use a more bus. Uh, uh, besides, uh, if you want to do the uh, continuous trigger, that means once it uh, detects the device, then you can change this one to the uh, continuous mode. So that's all for uh, this topic. Thank you.